Hi, people of hope. This is Pastor Sarah with your daily word from the heart of hope. So I wanted to share with you, I was having a conversation um, with a spiritual director recently, and, and it was uh, a great conversation talking about habits that we have, habits that need to change, and, and how do we know that we're making the right changes in habit. And as I was, as I was talking about some of the transitions and the time where I transition in my day and, and I need to make some new habits so that I can focus on um, better on certain relationships and what God is calling me to and wanting me to do in those relationships. Uh, we talked about different habits to build in and I said, well, how do you know the right one? And, and uh, her thought was, you know, if you experience the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, and self-control. If you're experiencing the fruit of, of that habit, you feel drawn to that habit, and you're experiencing the fruit of the Spirit through that habit, you know, it's probably something that God is calling you into. However, if you're feeling drawn to a new habit, and you are not experiencing the fruit of the Spirit, it might not be what God's calling you to. Oh, and as I thought about that, I'm like, oh my word! That is spot on. Um, some habits we know we need to let go of. Some habits we know we need to change. But how do we know which way to go in our daily life and in our walk with the Lord? Well, we'll know by the fruit. We'll know by the fruit that it bears. If, if it draws us closer to God through love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, and self-control. It's probably something God is leading you and calling you into to change and to do and to enter into that new habit. So people of hope, I want to encourage you today, where could you grow in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, and self-control? What habit might God be calling you to take a look at, to examine, and to change or to lean in? So with that thought, God bless you. God keep you today.